Well, hello folks. So, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to create a first person gunshot effect in Premiere Pro. So, without any further ado, let's just jump into Premiere Pro. So, I got a couple of things in my project media bin. I got my own footage that I took to make this effect I got a concrete catchy you can search it on Google and I have sound effect of the gunshot I will put the link of the of this SFS in the description below and a the PNG that I found on Google too so now I'm just gonna drag my footage to the timeline. Now the next thing I want to do is make the footage slow motion as soon as it gets shot. So the so grab your razor tool and search for it. The beginning of you get shots. So. Um, here so I will call it in here and now right click in here speed and duration change the speed and duration into 50% and press ok next thing is you want to drag the concept PNG to where you want to add in the video so I just gonna drag the concept PNG to the first shot like this so you can actually go to effect control and change the scale and the position to wherever you like I want to put it here something like that and do some rotation and change the play mode into hard light and I will do it uh, three times so you can do it the first shot in here and then the second shot in here and the third shot in here or whatever so, so here I'm gonna use three shots ok now I will add the sound effect of the video just drag it to the same time as the PNG appeared so I'm just gonna drag it put it here, drag it, put it here Drag it, put it in. Okay, so now we got the shot. Now go to the effect menu and search the one called tint and drag it to your footage. Now change the black and white to the light red and the white to dark red something like that now we want to play with the amount of tint so click the stopwatch icon of the amount of tint so you want to make the beginning into around 60% something like this and before it gets to the next shot lower it down to around 20% something like this so I'm just gonna do it 3 times as the shots hit you 3 times and now you want to create a fading to the gun crack I just go to the video transition so I'm just gonna absent this and go to video transition the scene across the soft and drag it to the edge of the gunshot done after that you want to search for directional blur I'm gonna search for uh, directional blur directional blur and drag it to your footage 
now I'm going to effect control and change the direction I'm gonna bring the direction click the stopwatch icon and and you just want to scale it up okay so it will not give you everything but the thing is in the blur line now click on the blur line the stopwatch icon we're gonna play with the keyframe but this keyframe will follow the keyframe of the amount of tint so whenever it, get, it gets blue we add one so we started around 20 and it's going up the, the amount of thing gets blue here and change it to zero drag do it three times So for the next thing is you want to make a black and white at the end so I'm just gonna simply copy and paste the paint by pressing ctrl c ctrl v and wait and I'm gonna change it black and white so this gonna be black and this gonna be white but I'm gonna delete the keyframe because we don't want the keyframe so starting at this point so I'm just gonna drag it a little down something around right here right so I'm gonna start it here so just make a keyframe after you got shot uh, the amount is from zero 200% it will give you like this it will give you something like this let me just try it with you and the last touch is you want to add the waist PNG to the video so simply drag it here we need a transition with this so I'm just gonna click in here and control D it's gonna simply make across the self transition and we're done this is the basic thing about the contract effect make as creative as you can hope this video helps you thank you guys for watching see you in the next video and as always stay creative